All right, I'm super happy to uh, announce present to you Kaif. Um, the problem for other blockchains in general is they don't have the huge benefit of storing unstructured data permanently. So basically they can't do any reliable uh, backups or snapshots, right? Um, because you can't have a, a decentralized chain and the decentralized storage by the centralized pipeline, this, this, this doesn't work. And there's no way to cache state transitions. We even know the problem in our own ecosystem. I think Tate in the first presentation um, really nice explained this by setting up their own caching uh, server, which is which is centralized. Um, so basically, yeah, there's no way to cache those, those state transitions in smart we So yeah, big, big, big issue there. And then indexing uh, can be difficult if there are massive amounts of block, which basically means the graph, for example, does have the issue that other chains um, like Solana, for example, move so fast that their indexing nodes takes weeks, if not even months, to catch up with all the data, um, which is happening just because it's produced so fast. So the real issue is this leads to scaling issues. The blockchain, the big ones, the big layer twos are really scaling out of their own uh, ecosystem. And we have come up with a solution for that, which is called Kaif. Kaif is a fully decentralized protocol. It can store any kind of uh, stream data onto our weave. And we have partnered with all of those big layer ones like Polkadot, Solana, Avalanche, the Graph, and, and Cosmos, and are setting up this Kaif system of uploaders and validators, where the uploader just listens to new blocks being produced um, and the, storing them onto our weave. And then the validators retrieving the data the uploader has uploaded have, have their own internal uh, logic to check this in, in terms of blockchains. They really just go to the blockchain with the block hash and say, hey, can you just give me the data for it? And if it's correct with the uploaded data, then basically uh, nothing happens. But if there is like some incorrect thing, the stake of the uploader will be slashed, or if the validator was incorrectly, vice versa, right? Um, so the, the uploaded data is secured and uploaded and proven by stake. Um, and the data retrieval is all done through either the Arweave GraphQL endpoint or through the Kaif library. Um, really, anyone can participate in storage initiatives. So basically, we do have this Kaif storage pool per uh, chain. So let's say you want to archive the Polkadot mainnet. So we'd go ahead in Kaif and would create a pool for that. And then anyone can, can fund this pool. You spin up an uploader or somebody else does and participates in, in validation. And then anyone who has the incentive to keep the pool going really um, yeah, just funds it with, with the Kaif tokens. And the cool thing is that there are multiple incentives on a really funding a pool. So as said in a previous example with, with the graph, for example, they are really incentivized to, to pay money that the, um, that the Solana uh, snapshots basically are stored continuously. So it's much easier for the indexes to upload the data. And this is all done through the last mile approach. And how this works is basically in the in the first row, you can see how it's done right now. Basically, every block is loaded in separately, which just takes a huge amount of time. I mean, in, in smart, we've read, we see this. I think the word, some of the vertical contracts are at one minute, 20 execution time right now. Um, so you can load in the latest Kaif snapshot, which basically um, is a snapshot taken from block height, from specific block heights. And it's much faster to load this. And then you just need basically to uh, to load in the latest three, four transactions, make it much much faster and reliable because it's all proven by, by stake. So the latest state computation is much, much faster. And we have successfully signed partnerships with all those major layer one blockchains um, presented before. Um, we went into a soft testnet release uh, last week, Friday. I have everything set up on the technical side right now, building out a small UI for managing this and now heading into a strategic round and planning on mainnet release end of q3 start of q4 in, in 2021 and we are currently yeah doing all of those rs partner integrations um, and especially get, getting some big layer twos um, on there as well um, we do have a very ex experienced team uh, john Letty, the co-founder of Virtu, uh joined us and also Fasila, um, who's an ex-product manager at visa helping us with all of the, all of the operations um, if you're interested in knowing more please get in touch with us just team at kf.network chat.kf.network for our discord and we're happy to to answer all the questions you guys have. And uh, thank you so much.